Hey everybody. Okay, so brought out the big guns. We're gonna do another technique. I just like doing these techniques for newbies. <laughs> so if you're new, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button while you're here. Um, I like to play. <laughs> so Hubby got this tray, and I said I would promise I'd use it on a pour. So what I need to do first is um, put some color down on here. I'm doing a southwestern <clears throat> vibe. Um, of course, I'm going to be using the vermilion, black, cobalt blue hue. It's uh, No, actually, that's Grumbacher turquoise green. That's not the one I want. I want the Grumbacher or the artist loft cobalt blue hue it's metallic <clears throat> soho red ochre and soho olive and uh, i'll be using white as well and i probably should put a copper in there as well so we'll use a copper too that'll be next to the ochre in between the orange and the ochre we can't fit a lot of paint in these little tiny pockets they only come up to there on my finger so <clears throat> it's not going to be like the other ice cube tray one that we did and I have a moth flying around here <laughs> uh, I pulled one out of a painting the other day so I've been yelling at everybody to close the back door don't be using the back door so we'll see how long that lasts all right so I need to put some Huh. Why is it when you want something you can't find it? Well, I guess I'll have to use white because I'm not going to find the black. Oh, duh. It's up here. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm stumbling here. Okay. So I'm just going to put black on my edges. This has no silicone in it. I don't want my paint to skip off the canvas. That's this is why I do this. I don't always do this, but with black I do. Because I don't want that white canvas coming through. Okay, put it back up there. Okay, so I need to fill my tray, so I need to move this up a little bit. And you all know how much I love playing with black. <laughs> messy but I love it actually I'm going to set this down here okay so when I flip it I want the black on top so we're going to go ahead and just give these all a little skirt of square of black I'm not going to be using a lot of paint so I don't want to be overwhelmed like I was with the big ice cube tray one that was just a ton of paint And then I'm going to go right ahead with the orange. And I'm just going to trail right across to save time. And I'm trying to use it all. Because this is the this is old one. Okay. Goodbye, orange. Alright, so let's go ahead with the ochre. This is red ochre and it's so pretty. And then the copper. Okay, a little bit of white. Okay, and then we're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Artist Loft Metallic. I'm gonna go over that one more time. Okay, 
then we'll go with the olive green. And we'll finish with black. That should be just enough paint to cover that canvas. Oh, you know what, though? It's going to be hard to flip that. <laughs> okay, let me pour some of this off here. All right, now flip it right over on top. Oh, my hands are going to be really messy now. I should have put the black on the canvas after I flipped the ice cube tray. Dummy me. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta find the. It's right there. Ready? Because it's gotta be quick. Ooh! Do you see it splatter? It didn't get me though. <laughs> it could have though. I always tell my husband when he picks up this stuff, it's like, is that a dollar? Because I'm not paying more than a dollar for that because I don't want to wash it. <laughs> so, we'll see if he does. He might wash it out. They're not fun to clean. Okay, are you ready? Oh, it looks like it's going to be pretty. Here we go. Now remember, the green and that are on the bottom. And I've already got some beautiful cells starting there. I'm just letting it smooth itself out. I'm going to put that tray over up there. I'm going to be covered in paint. <laughs> so what else is new? Setting. I might as well get these out of the way because these will be the next thing to be covered in paint. All right. Okay, let me move it around a little bit. totally lost the green. I don't even see it. Well, they're popping up there. Maybe if I move it enough, we'll see it. I want to keep that paint towards the middle, though. I'm going to get some ziggy zags. But I do want to stretch it out to get the bottom paint to come up. Now that moth is on me. Oh, the joys of painting in garages. Okay, let me get my corners and then I can tilt some more. Okay. Yeah, I want to take it right off the edge. I look in the monitor to see what you guys are seeing. It's like, oh, I don't like that. I want to open this up. So I hope everybody is planning on doing something for Mother's Day. Of course, it's Friday for me, so you won't see this video probably until after Mother's Day. So I hope y'all had a nice Mother's Day. I have no plans. Um, we're going tomorrow to deliver a painting to my husband's mom. And my mom lives in New York, so she'll get her painting when um, I go up in June. I'll be there for two weeks, spending some time with my mama. She's 87 years old, but she acts like she's 50. She's never home. She's go, go, go. So, I'm 
glad she gets around so well. So that looks kind of neat right there. And this isn't all orange. This is copper too. So when this dries, it's going to be totally different looking. I can see the copper. I get hints of green here and there, but not like I thought I would. I probably should have put some green towards the bottom, but I think I would have gotten a little too much mud. So let's go ahead and torch this. And I, that wasn't like a ton of extra paint. Um, I could have gotten away with just a little bit less. But if I wouldn't have put the black on the edges, I don't think I could have. So keep that in mind when you're playing with household items that get your edges covered good and then go ahead and play. Because that way at least you can stretch it to the edge if you don't have enough paint. And if you have too much, you just pour it over. But yeah, it's pretty. See? See the hints of green here? And then I've got some over here. But yeah, it's pretty. We'll see how that copper looks tomorrow. And I hope I don't have to pour it off or pour over it. So while you're here, let me just show you what I made for my mama. Um, I did post a picture of it on Facebook, and I think I've shown it on another video. But I varnished it today, and she's beautiful. This was a dirty pour stretched to its max without losing um, the cells. And then I pulled um, yarn through. And let me tell you, when you do a pour, you really got to pull the yarn. I went back through and just kept fixing and fixing. But I have some metallics in here um, also, so it really is pretty. She's going to love it. And it's so shiny. She's really going to love it. So I just have to pull the tape off and wire it. And she'll be good to go with me in June. So guys, have yourselves a great night. Check the links below. All the information's there for Amazon and Facebook and Etsy. I have a PayPal link if you want to sponsor my channel. I do do giveaways to the um, sponsors. And also, um, click subscribe while you're here. Click on the bell to get notified on my next video. Click like. Share the videos so we get more subscribers push it out on social social media doesn't bother me at all and um, leave a comment I'll answer you back I'm sure and stay tuned um, we have some more fun stuff coming up this week I'll be filming on Tuesday and we'll see what we can come up with but thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one bye now